Okay, so um, buongiorno everyone. I mean everyone, I don't think anybody's in here right now. <laughs> I'm gonna add Danielle. Oh no, there's a lot of people. Hello everyone, how are you? I just, oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Can you believe that I did this? I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Mamina. <laughs> Hello, good uh, morning. Hello, good morning to you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Always I, I put on my pink polka dot shirt today. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I need to make an effort. I'm going to start making an effort. It's okay. You don't have to. You look gorgeous all the time. I just want to start wearing clothes that I haven't been able to wear in my closet for the last year. You know what? This morning I went to test and I met Barrett and she was wearing a cool coat and boots. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start doing that. So from now on, when I go testing, I'm going to dress up. You do, though, sometimes. You showed up in that gorgeous Italian coat you have. Oh, thank you. Yeah, once. Other it's than that, stunning. Yeah, I mean, you thank could put it. In... What? <laughs> now you know my regular outfit. <laughs> I do. You're always comfy. Um, but I love it. Um, but yeah, Barrett's always looking absolutely on point with her wardrobe every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she puts things together that I just don't expect sometimes. I'm like, I would never have thought they looked good together. And she makes But on her, they look great. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's one of those frustrating things that you're like, damn it. <laughs> that too i want to look i want to look good in that too yeah yeah and then she says you can and then i try on her clothes and i'm like see it doesn't work <laughs> I don't really, I don't well how it. are you how we're back to work we're back um, to work. we haven't started filming yet but we're, the show is back yep i actually did something yesterday without you believe it or not but we can really talk about it it's like a fun surprise thing. Stop it. I think I know what scene you shot yesterday. I didn't even know. <gasps> well, that's a good tease for the episodes that are coming up. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you want me to address the, the, the comments that everyone left last time? The box? Yes. Yeah. Um, we both wanted to say thank you to everyone that submitted. I'm what might have been a, a thousand responses to that box. Like, but it was, it just kept single. Every single um, person that submitted a, an idea of what we should do or a thought, uh, I read it, we read it, they were amazing. Thank you for submitting them. It sounds like the biggest thing you guys want to hear about is our hair and makeup routines. And then after that comes um, mental health issues and happiness and dealing with COVID, mm -hmm. travel, mm -hmm. and what else was there? Um, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. I think what it was, was the main four. The comments we got obviously some stuff related to the show uh yes they were gonna probably sprinkle sprinkle here and there of course and then, yeah i think that was it there were some good ones too that we might have to follow through with but we'll see if they can work is you teaching me how to cook something <laughs> that one actually i love that one i, I love that cook. one yeah the 11 o'clock in the morning what can we cook i, I mean, mean make something up like a it's five o'clock somewhere right Right, exactly. Another <laughs> uh, thing in Italy, we never have dinner at five. Dinner is it's at late. For nine, at five, you have cookies and milk or whatever, like a snack. <laughs> I love that the snack is cookies and milk in Italy. I think I everybody's in Italy snack, but yeah, I love cookies. Uh, I learned um, the late dinner thing from Alberto when he was yes. on the show because he we would all go out to dinner and stuff, and he'd be like. We'd, we'd schedule for something for like 6, 6.30. He's like, what's wrong with you guys? Don't you guys eat at 8? Old people, your grandparents or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, funny. did you, what'd you say? Nothing. Did you want to touch on anything um, related to any of those topics? Did you want to talk about how we've been coping with COVID and, and maybe some tips on what other people can do? Since that seemed to be a really big, I didn't realize how much people... I mean, I know we'd had our struggles and everyone around me had had our struggles, but I don't know why it didn't click that, of course, everyone's dealt with it different ways and had struggles and kind of see yeah. how we coped with it all. Yeah, and I feel like there's like different struggles for different situations. Like my whole family is a lot, a lot, a lot of miles away. So my whole family is in Italy and they all have their little um, 
core group so they all have kids and and and, and husband or wife and and i feel like but that ha- that comes with a struggle too i feel like there isn't one situation that is super easy like sometimes it's easy because you're like forced to live with somebody 24 7 and even though you love them it's like oh my god you're driving me insane <laughs> other times the struggle is because you're alone and you're like i want to hug a stranger somebody i just need like a physical touch but i feel like the main thing is that i and you both being very lucky because we haven't been negatively affected aside from like obviously the, the struggles of everyday life but everybody in our family is healthy and is well and we haven't lost anybody close to us but um yeah i feel like for me a big discovery for 2020 was walks i've i've always i mean i always even walk where are your walks though i think is the most important thing everywhere <laughs> i just walk 20 minutes to get a coffee just because yeah. I need a mission and sometimes I just walk listening to a podcast but I feel like when I feel my anxiety bubbling up and I'm like oh my god I think I'm gonna cry I just walk and sometimes I cry during my walk but because which is of- fine yeah and I feel like it's good to let it out and um before I was like I think I think I'm going crazy and now I'm like you know what it's a hard time for everybody so having a little good cry every now and then it's just therapeutic and it so is. yeah my thing what has been yours well I mean it was a roller coaster ride because we've never been through something like this and you know me I'm like go 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 100 miles an hour all the time and so to all of a sudden be on this kind of like you can't go anywhere because there's nowhere to go and to be safe you need to stay indoors and I'm such a big hugger, such a big hugger. So that was, I remember, you know, with my family, it was a little different because they're family. So I'm allowed to, you know, I was like hugging them and able to touch them. But it was when we got back to work. Mm. Um, when was that? Yeah, when we got back to work, I like struggled for that first full episode. Where I was just so depressed because I was like, I can't touch anyone. And now it's kind of gotten to the thing where we dance or we clap or whatever to say hi. Uh. It's still does something but physical touch was so hard for me at first and not being able to go out and do things and then trying to figure out what to fill the time with like and I went through lulls where I was like I have nothing to do I don't want to do anything and being angry and being upset and having to go outside and just enjoy the morning or make coffee oh my god it was this it was an up and down situation but also just letting myself sit in that some days like waking up and being like okay today's just an off day yeah. So I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to do some things that make me happy. Right. Um, I want to like, I like cooking. So maybe that'll make me happy or at least testing things out um, yeah. to see what would help my mood. What'd you say? Right. No, exactly. No, that's perfect. Yeah. And I feel like you, have you picked up any new hobbies throughout the year? Any crazy or <laughs> have been something that you probably dropped? Uh, <laughs> I think, you know, one of them, I, I, I tried cross stitching. I think I addressed that on Instagram too, where like I bought it and me and Jake Burrell even talked about it and I was trying my best to like get it. it. What? Jake is amazing at it. He's actually everything. He can do everything DIY and like is such a a crafts, arts and crafts person. And I'm trying to be, but it's really hard because yeah, it's just hard. But cross stitching wasn't for me. I did it. I completed it, but it yeah. wasn't for me. I've loved, always loved puzzles. So I've done a ton of puzzles. I think puzzles has been a big thing for a lot of people. Not for you. You think I'm crazy every time I say that? It's like washing paint dry. Why? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> no, I love it. And like fishing is like one of those things that I would never be drawn to. I just don't get it. I wonder, are you guys, I want to ask, are you guys into puzzles? Yes or no in the comments? I really want to know, like, if it's, because I feel like around me, like, my best friend, Macy, she's been doing a ton of puzzles during Hi. quarantine. I've been doing puzzles. Like, um, Barrett got me a puzzle. She likes puzzles. Gray got me a puzzle. He likes puzzles. So it's one of the, yes. So I got a yes. Is anyone not into puzzles? Let Sorry. us know in the comments. What? There's a lot of yeses. It just got one no. I saw the no. Up. I love puzzles. Okay, I'm a minority. No, I don't think I'm a minority. It's just I, I, I wonder if it's like, is it how we're raised? Like, probably 1500 piece puzzles. That's a big puzzle. I think I've only done thousand piece during the break. Although, should I show you the globe I did with Gray? Or I Gray got me a puzzle and I did. Yeah. Should I show it to you? Okay, I'll be right back. It's right here. <laughs> 
going to two rooms away. The puzzle. No, I know, right? No. I can't hear you. No, they're so boring. I agree. They're so boring. Nothing. I'm conversation with the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is a puzzle. Oh, wow. How this is you... the one that Gray got me. Okay. That's, I've never seen one of those. Do Neither have I. Something with it after or you just keep it? I mean, there's a little stand that it goes on. Okay. <laughs> and I can present it on Instagram. <laughs> Um, it was a lot of fun to do, though. I feel like it's so therapeutic for me. I want it. So, so I want it. I'll try and get Gray to send me the link so I can, because I know everyone that's seen it in the house has been like, I want that. I can't. I can't. It was fun. It was it's a lot so of fun. fun. Anyway, so I've done a lot of puzzles. But meditation. Meditation was a big, big talk about mental health. If anyone is worried or really, really depressed, I swear, meditation has helped. And it's not... And no one tells you that it's hard at first. Do you meditate, Stefania? Yeah. I do. I do. But I feel like walks for me are better. I yeah. Somebody said to me, like, walk, uh, doing anything that takes your mind off of the craziness of daily life, it is a right. meditation. So walking can have the same benefits as meditating. And for me, it's a lot more... Um, therapeutic than just sitting down but yeah I, ha I used to do it a lot and then I replaced it with walking yeah I yeah. love doing it I it was a big and it was I a couple friends that I've told to do it were struggling at first were like this is miserable I hate this and I was like it is at first you've got to yeah. like the first couple sessions you just kind of give yourself enough you know enough of a break and say okay these first couple sessions of, of or first week or two of meditating is going to be tough where I'm sitting there and the person keeps telling me to quiet in my mind yeah and I'm like shut up stop exactly <laughs> I get super frustrated at the voice it has to have like the right tone of voice the right <laughs> accent because otherwise like, I'm like Aah! yep opposite result but yeah um actually talking about meditation I I, I very big discovery for me was this podcast called expanded mm -hmm. and this, this is what i usually listen to when i go on my walks and i it's it's very uh kind of like science-based manifesting kind of ah and exactly so it's not like a based on whatever on Friday air, which frustrates me usually, uh, but it's based on science and scientific like techniques that you can apply to your everyday life to kind yeah. of manifest what, you're, what you want in life. And uh, that's that's been a big thing for me in 2020 and I've been doing that a lot. So if you guys are struggling with this kind of stuff and you want to pick up a new podcast, it's called Expanded. By Lacey Phillips. I have notes so already because I can't. I, I forget things. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to, and especially us because we always go off topic whenever we go live. So we keep just so everyone knows, like when we're not always like so. We've got to stick to some sort of like. <laughs> so, I, 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 like there has to be structure. A, a structure, exactly. Yeah, because we're so bad and we just go off tangent. Any book that stood out or anything that was particularly helpful or yeah uh, uh self-compassion by uh chris is it Kristen or christine Kristen, i think it's Kristen neff i talked about it um a couple months ago too it was recommended to me um by my therapist early on during the quarantine pandemic and stuff because i was i've always struggled a lot with like loving myself and self-compassion and all that like having mm. like lo like being able to give myself a break and not be so difficult and hard on myself all the time so that was really good for me. So I've recommended it to a my sister, my friend Janelle, like a couple of my friends I've recommended it to, and they seem to like it as well, but it made a huge impact on me where I was able to finally like kind of go over this little hump that I had where I was like, you know, I need to like be okay with, with, with minor little, even big failures, but like and not right. being so hard on myself and love my body, which I've then like told other people. Cause I mean, as women, I think we're so, so yeah. hard on our bodies. Yeah. <laughs> That was another one. It was us talking about like health and fitness um, in the future. One of these days, we'll do a live about all that stuff. But um, okay, yeah, was... what is the thing that you missed the most in 2020? I think it's the same for both of us. I, I think it's the travel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yours, I'm sure, especially too, because your family. I mean, you're not even getting to travel to see your family, and I know that was really hard for you during the holidays. 
yeah. um, which I'm sure a lot of people have dealt with. I have friends that are up in Canada too that couldn't leave that are filming up there and didn't get to come down to see their families or their families even come to them. Yeah. So. That's the thing. Where, okay, where is the first place you're going to travel to as soon as you are able to? <laughs> Oh, I really, and I know it's going to sound weird, but I've been trying to go to Iceland for what feels like years now. And I had like an itinerary and a plan and the whole thing that I feel like I need to finally get that trip done yeah. because I've been thinking about it for so long, but I have so many places I still want to go. And so many places I've been that I would love to go back to, but I have to go to new places first. Yeah. Fair what enough. What about you? What? To Italy. There's no, <laughs> like I, I'm counting the days until I can go to a plane and go back to see my family. If I can, I'm going to spend some time in Europe, but I would like to go to like Italy, France, Spain, and just spend the whole summer in Europe. Summer, the European summer for me is the most amazing season. There's like a beautiful energy there. And I really miss not being able to go this year. So I'm really looking forward to go this <laughs> hopefully <laughs> i can't wait until you can get to go again um outside of italy what's the favorite most favorite place you've ever been to i love southeast asia i love south america mm. yeah I, I spend a lot of time in india thailand cambodia vietnam i used to travel by myself i love traveling by myself as well yeah. I, I rarely travel with people. Um, and brazil i'm super excited to go back to brazil yeah. and i I've, I haven't spent much time in Africa. I've only I've been to Nigeria, crazy enough, but um, I don't know it very well. I've been to Iceland, actually, two Christmases, two winters ago. I was in Iceland, and it was incredible. I loved it. And I was in, also in the Northern European countries, which I love during Christmas time. Did you go, you said during the winter to Iceland? Yeah, it was amazing. It wasn't that cold, actually. Apparently, Iceland is actually not that cold, and Greenland is full of snow. So well, that's what they always say. I mean, Iceland still, I'm, from what I research, gets cold, but it's more that there's less day, hours of daylight. There is. So you have to just get your things scheduled Done. properly. But it wasn't even that bad. It was actually, okay. it was beautiful. I think that's what I kind of always wanted to do is go there during the winter, but I like the cold, so I'm okay with it, even if it's cold. Oh, you gotta, see, I would never pick, like, that was the first holiday that I did in a winter, in a cold country. Yeah. I never oh, let me plan a trip to the mountains or to the snow. I'm not, never. I, for me, the, the beach. hottest the beach is yeah. a good one. Otherwise, I don't even <laughs> cross my mind. Yeah. And you love mountain stuff. I do. I love green trees and snow and mountains and the beach. I mean, I love seeing the beach, but it's not my first go-to. It's wow. I've always been more like more bundled up and like <laughs> I mean the Maldives was an exception like I was but that was also very humid heat which I do like so because oh, I yeah. also I burn so quickly <laughs> it makes it very hard to love being in the sun when you burn so fast does anyone else feel me on this I'm sorry. Awesome. Oh, once I go to Switzerland, I am planning to go to Switzerland. Yes. Yeah, that will, was going to be second on the list. And Greece. So all the places people are oh, saying. Oh. I was going to do Iceland, Switzerland, Greece. Um, what else did I want to do on the list? I want to do Scotland and Ireland. Scottish accent is so fun. I love it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I just remember something yes. out of uh, context. To context? Context. Context. What, wait, what was the sentence? And um, okay, so <laughs> I just gave it up. Sorry. Uh, and uh, Station 19 started airing on in Italy now, so it's uh, it finally started airing two Tuesdays ago. So now Italian fa Italian fans can watch us. Uh, I know from day one, like it's season. It just started airing the first episode of season one. Sorry, the first three season have already started in the previous years, but oh. season four just started now. Okay days ago so i wanted to just mention that and then like, and, 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 and what nothing really say ciao to the italian fans ah, and i hope they love season four so far i hope that too we'll, that's we'll so exciting i always like i always wish that it could all just air at the same time everywhere in the oh, world it doesn't I, work that way same same um, so wait, did you mention where you wanted to go? Your favorite places you mentioned, but, and you've ma mentioned the first place you want to go to after quarantine. Do you have a first place you want to go to besides Italy? 
Like, is there a place you've been dying to go to that isn't somewhere you've been before? I mean, it sounds like you've been a lot of places. I no, right now, literally, my mom is like mono focused. Okay, something's going on with my hair. Sorry, your hair looks stunning. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Just stop. Stop. It, I wish I could make mine look like that when I did this. <laughs> Doesn't work. Uh, okay. I think I. No, I, I right now Italy is all I think about. I want pizza and pasta and family and friends and the, <laughs> the humor and the all the stuff that I I miss it so much. I love the US, but I'm sick of it right now. Anything? There. Um, so yeah. And do you, have you explored a lot of the United States outside of, you know, I, California? Before moving to the United States, I did explore the East Coast. Yeah. Uh, right. I, it just um, blew my mind how big this country is. And there's like, I remember laughing at the fact that there is areas where there is a house and then there is two miles of nothing and then another house. And I'm like, okay, I think I will go psycho if I lived here because there is nobody around. Like, and that's what I love. I'm like, please give me a hundred acres of like land with a house and a bunch of animals and I can't see my neighbor. I will go crazy. I need people. I need to be like, buongiorno, come sta signora Gina? Papara, it's all this stuff. <laughs> it's such a different, but do you feel like you do that in LA? Because I think the issue is, is like in LA, people don't do that. Like they do, there isn't that camaraderie when you go outside. My street, I'm like, hello, I nod. And so, especially now, there were like not very many people in the street with the mask. I feel like before yeah. I smile at people and now they don't see that anymore. So I kind of, say hi but I'm like we're walking in the same street so why not just say hi and do they like are they reciprocate blah, blah. Some do blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. English is my first language I swear fine nobody needs to know about it <laughs> um do they reciprocate like are they waving back and saying hi do they know you and yeah it depends okay usually like older ladies are very excited okay to see me wave and guys get a little bit like okay <laughs> i'm in i'm i just feel like that's something that you definitely see in other countries but in the united states it's not as well i shouldn't say it's not as common you go to small towns and it's common like even you go out yeah. into like the, the smaller farming communities outside of la and people you know nod and put their hand up when they drive by they know everyone's name in the town like it is exists but it just doesn't exist in the big cities it feels like here yeah which is sad. Um, I wish it did. But you should, how many, you need to go to national parks because I have to say like something I did discover during the quarantine, obviously everyone knew I went on the RV trip after I was losing my mind oh. in quarantine. <laughs> um, but going to all the national parks and seeing how beautiful it is here too has been such a gift that I've kind of forced me to do this year because I wasn't able to, to go overseas. Right, exactly. No, the national parks are beautiful. I remember seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time and crying because I was so blown away by how big it was. Again, everything is so big and it's a natural, um, it's like, it's not man-made and yeah. it's, and that nature did that and it was amazing my sister was here we went together and we both we both uh -huh. cry. anything for tv commercials we both cry whatever so we, it doesn't mean a lot that we cry but it, we, we did <laughs> yes it does it means something and i love that you're open with being able to just cry and like let it out I am. um i have surprisingly never been to the grand canyon yet that's no. one place. this last trip no i didn't go uh, i keep out of it like I want to uh go rafting uh -huh. you know and I want to like camp and I want to like plan a full-on trip and I've always like put all this like energy and emphasis on like how I want to make it important and I think I need to stop doing that and I just need to go and what happens happens um yeah. I would love to raft it one of these days what'd you say you make it a short trip you don't need like a, a big chunk of time it's like relatively close to a, to Los Angeles so it's doable yeah I, yeah I'm just making excuses I don't know why um <laughs> <laughs> do we want to ask the fans any places they want to go after or are they interested in traveling oh belgium belgium's on there yeah um i saw chelsea chilia chelsea chilia what's chelsea chilia uh, sister yeah 
What it Chacha Chasa Chilia? <laughs> this is going to become one of those memes again of me trying to say Italian. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you. Yes, you are, and it's fine. Um, but I should just stop trying over the lives because then it becomes no, I a thing. Love that. Please keep trying. Please, please. <laughs> embarrassing. So embarrassing. No, no. Um, Fine. Okay, I feel like maybe then give us your recommendation with the defense. We can ask them to give us their recommendation for something that they started doing in 2020 and they loved or like a podcast or a book that helped them go through. Yeah, that. if there's anything, maybe you post a story if there's anything specific they want to recommend like a book or a podcast or something. But if there's something on here too that you guys, is there any questions you guys want to ask right now in the comments that about pertaining to um, you know, I was really worried about the mental health that came through a lot. Like, is there anyone else to cover or talk about with COVID or dealing with COVID or, um, anything in that regard? Yeah. What? Did you freeze? Did I freeze? I received the phone call and I, I, I was wondering what does, what happens when you receive phone calls? It just pauses you. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Um, Favorite book? Favorite book? I, I always suggest this. Oh, my niece just popped up. Vittorio Ciao. <laughs> Favorite book to be magnetic. No, uh, The Big Magic. What's that? The Big Magic is Elizabeth Gilbert's book. And ah! it's a self-help artist book, but it's very good. It's, very, it's a good read. It's also good to listen to. If you don't like reading, you can do Audio. it. Book. Um, and it's fun. That's one thing I've gotten into. I have done now three audiobooks and I went, I went with, sorry, I was trying to read the comments at the same time. Yeah. I went with, um, I've listened to Tina Fey's autobiography and audio. Yeah. Um, I listened to Demi Moore's and I just finished Goldie Hawn's and now I've got, uh, like in the list, I've got like Sally Field, Obama and, and Matthew McConaughey are like the three yeah. next set, but I love it. It's so nice and yeah. you get to hear it in their voice. Like, I think that's one thing with audiobooks that sometimes drives me crazy is no. the person narrating, but I love all their voices, so. Um, Matthew McConaughey, I don't think I can hang on. I cannot listen to him for a Does whole Does it drive you crazy? It drives me insane. He's is it the accent like, or like his he's also of no, no, no. condescension? Uh, it's like, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> He's very attractive, but in small doses. I don't think I could do the whole eight hours book with him. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm going to start it and see um, how it goes and kind of what insight. I also just love it because these are all artists and we're, and you know, we're artists. And so it's yeah. nice to kind of hear their trajectory, their stories. Yeah. It's interesting because it makes you realize how there isn't one recipe that works for everybody. Everybody is different and everybody finds its own path to whatever they want to do me. But salutare, sono Sara da Bergamo. <laughs> There's some little random questions here too, or like, I shouldn't say random, like um, kind of on the outskirts. What is your favorite color? I'm curious. Someone just asked. Somebody did, though. No? <laughs> they did. Do you, what is your favorite color? I don't even know. I don't think I know. Maybe, I don't know. You don't know. have to choose if you don't know it. That came up and then someone else said, um, favorite singer. A favorite is hard. It's like picking one amongst all the ones that are in the world is really hard. Did you watch the inauguration? Did you watch the inauguration? I've seen uh, clips of it. So I was listening to NPR this morning and then we had to test. So they had it on a screen yeah. um, at near the, on the base camp. So they I was watching it. some of it. But I want to watch. I was um, hearing about the young poet who, did you I hear about it? watched her speech. Yeah, it sounds amazing. I cannot wait to watch it. So I need to um, go back and I'm sure it'll be on uh, many channels, you know, to rewatch it. So I need to sit down and actually watch it. I think there was just too much going on this morning to stop and sit down. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, hey, skin actually, I'm just going to, I just read a comment saying, uh, talking about skincare. Actually, next week we're going to, no, next week we're not. Next, next week, week I'm doing makeup. Next week, Danielle is doing makeup. I'm and... not doing makeup. My makeup artist is doing makeup on me because I can only That's... kind of do makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and the following week we're going to talk about skincare and about acne specifically because it's something that I've struggled and still struggle with so um yeah the next two weeks are going to be a little bit more structured uh today we just wanted to talk about several different things and yeah I think that's it yeah and to make sure um 
Sorry, I'm reading the comments as we're talking. And to make sure we just covered, I think, those important topics, which was, or at least touched on COVID life and travel. And, and now we'll get into all the stuff you want to hear about, which is hair and makeup and, and fitness routines and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy we got to do this again. And I'm glad we've started WeChat Wednesdays. And I hope it's a little escape for everybody yeah. during all of this that they can kind of tune in, especially since, again, we started this too because the show's done on the air. And we're like, how do we... You know, how do we give back to the fans that are supporting the show when it's not on the air? Um, so we hope this gives a little bit. But definitely, I've been hearing some amazing, um, I've been hearing some amazing recommendations of books. So if you want to post that story, they can submit them to that because I can't keep track on the on the um, comments of uh, the live. They can add it in the comments of the live so we can scroll through them and and take all the notes. Well, no, we can't. We won't get com these comments when we're done. Uh, no, but if they can read, because a lot of yes. them aren't suggesting anything. But if you suggested something specific, maybe if you can comment below so they stay there and we can go back and reference. They won't stay there, though. In general? No. Uh, I <laughs> okay, never mind that. <laughs> no, that's why I'm saying do a story and then they'll. you guys will submit them to the story. Um, okay like in a box or something. And then we can, you know, I would love to go read some more or if anyone's got definitely audiobooks, I'm kind of a huge fan of, as I said. Um, but yeah, submit them there because somebody had some great recommendations. Um, a little, I saw it up there uh, trans trans. What's that word? Trans something meditation. Transcendent. Yeah, um, anyways, it's on here. Please submit it to the box because I would be really interested in that. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm rambling. You know I do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Have a great rest of your week. Big hug. Ciao, Bella. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm reading the comments. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're out. We're out. Say bye. Say bye. Bye, everyone. I'm so happy to talk to you this Wednesday. I'll see you next Wednesday. Ciao. Bye, Bella. Ciao. Ciao.